Pops, I emailed 100 Ford dealers and tried to buy the exact same car, and you're never going to guess what happened. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but I probably could guess, but I won't guess. All right, so the other day, Dad, I had this idea. What would happen if I contacted 100 dealers and asked them for an out-the-door price, which is the price you always ask for when you negotiate a new car? I wanted to see what would happen. So I wrote a little web app. I wrote a script, you know, I'm thinking like maybe I'll open source the code. But like I wrote this little script that found 100 Ford dealers that all had a 2024 Ford XLT, Ford F-150 XLT in inventory with around a $61,000 MSRP. I then sent our email template out to each of those dealers automatically, all 100 of them. And in the data that you can see on the screen in the spreadsheet, you can see the results. Do you have a guess, Dad, as to how many dealers actually got back to me? Didn't give me an out-the-door price, but actually got back to me. Um, how many hours since you originally sent out the email? Yeah, it's a great question. I gave this 24 hours. So we've been waiting 24 hours from responses or for responses from the 100 emails. I will share with you the fastest reply I got from a human being, three minutes. Three minutes after I sent one of the emails, one of these dealers will pull up their email on the screen. They actually got back to me. Three minutes, man. That's pretty quick. Uh, that's because at that dealership, they are trained that the quicker you get back to an internet lead, the greater the likelihood you'll be the store that sells them the vehicle. It's been 24 hours, maybe a little more than that. And you're asking me out of the hundred dealerships you contacted via email, asking each dealership the same exact question. How many got back to you? Um, less than 15%. 21% actually responded dead. 13%, so 13 out of the 100 provided us without the door prices. We're going to break down here in just a second the spread. So who gave the worst deal? Who gave the best deal? And then dead, 14% actually opened my email but never replied. 10% of the people I emailed actually bounced. So really 90 people received the email. And 56% of the people that we contacted just never got back to us, never opened the email never got back to us. The worst deal we got, Dad, what do you think the worst deal was that we got from one of the 13 dealers that sent us an OTD quote? Um, trying to sell you the vehicle at MSRP. So you're right, Dad. The worst deal was trying to sell us at MSRP. It came from Team Ford in Las Vegas. The out-the-door price worksheet is an at MSRP deal on a Ford F-150 XLT, which when I tell you the best deal we received, kind of puts into perspective how ridiculous trying to sell this vehicle at MSRP really is. Do you have any guess what the best deal is that we got? And this is no negotiation, folks. I just sent one email out asking for the out-the-door price. We didn't even do negotiation. It's just just asking for the OTD. Um, I don't know, three, three, thirty five hundred dollars off. The best deal, just considering the dealer discount ad, was three thousand eight hundred and ninety two dollars off of MSRP. Tuttle Click Ford, just put the. This is first pencil. The first pencil in the industry is the first pass. The first out the door price, thirty eight hundred and ninety two dollar discount. Which, when you look at the data set, Dad is pretty doggone compelling. We had discounts ranging all the way from $0 at yes. the dealer we mentioned earlier up to this $3,892. Many dealers at around $2,000, $3,000, $3,500, $3, $3,892 off. And, and I didn't even negotiate yet. But that does that not put into perspective how important it is to contact multiple dealers? Because if I bought one from Team Ford and paid MSRP, but my neighbor bought one from Tuttle Click and got a $3,800 discount... I mean, that's a big difference. Uh, well, yeah, and most people uh, most people would find saving $3,800 to be significant. Apparently, the uh, the motto at Team Ford is where nobody's a winner at Team Ford here in Las Vegas. <laughs> now, Dad, one Ford dealership, Mossy Ford, they provided this out-the-door worksheet, which shows a $14,000 discount. But I have to show you, Dad, on their website, they also show an insane number of incentives on their website that I don't think I actually qualify for. So we, I actually did reply to this email. We have not heard back since I replied to their email asking them, can you please give me the breakdown of what is the dealer discount and what is manufacturer incentive that I may or may not actually, uh, you know, qualify for? Because this is the outlier of the group, Dad. A nearly, you know, over a fourteen thousand dollar discount. I don't, I don't know if I trust this one per se. Well, I would tell you right off the bat, I wouldn't. If everybody was somewhere between zero and thirty eight hundred dollars, um, and then you have one at over fourteen thousand dollars, it makes you, it makes you go, uh, okay, so. What are the BS discounts that they're giving me that I won't qualify for? Uh, do I have a uh, recent college graduate, retired military, uh, first responder? Um, hey, you just look good. I mean, it's like 
there is something not right about what they're doing here. So, yeah, that, that's one that would make you question, how could they be offering five times what everybody else is? Zach? Zach, is it true? There's 20% off on Car Edge Insights? Between now and November 4th, you can save 20% on Car Edge Insights, get access to dealer invoice price, target discount, and so much more to help you get the best car deal possible. Go to caredge.com slash insights. So it is true. All right, Pops. Now, not all the dealers that got back to me provided an out-the-door price. Quite a few actually did not. Here's an example from Friendly Ford. Thank you for your interest in this stock number, Zach. Would love the opportunity to earn your business and help you get the best deal. What day would work best for you to come in and work numbers to get you to where you want to be? This is a perfect example of a response that customers should anticipate when reaching out to dealers asking for out-the-door prices. Is they don't want to give it to you. They want you to come into the dealership. What do you make of this? Well, I, I make of it that this is um, uh, still an old-school type dealership in the sense that they have uh, trained their internet department and sales staff when somebody asks for specific information that you don't provide that information. What you provide them with is, well, when would be a good opportunity for you to come in? They want their salespeople and internet staff to sell an appointment um, because they feel as if they have more control once the customer's at the dealership. So this is this is old school. This is, hey, you know, we're still on the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the early 2000s. Uh, just because there's a thing called the internet is no reason for us to change. We've got another example here, Dad, from Bradley Ford. You can see, hello, I saw your inquiry. Would you happen to have a phone number to speak further about the vehicle? Again, as a customer, you don't have to do this, right? If I was really like interested in this, I would respond. I'd say, hey, I only feel comfortable having a conversation after you provide me with an out the door price quote. Yes, and and a lot of dealerships, the the concept behind this, just so you know, is that they want it, they've trained the sales staff to to want to at least speak directly to the customer because they want to verify that the vehicle they're asking to get that best price on is indeed the vehicle that will work. So there can be some legitimacy to wanting to chat with you. That should be saved for down the road. Yeah, you don't need to have a chat to get an out-the-door price. This is why in the email template that we provide for free back on caredge.com, you give the dealer your zip code. They need your zip codes. So they can figure out your sales taxes and also potentially, like in Ford's case, I know different um, addresses get different mailed programs as well. So there could be an angle there. But you know, you do not need to have, like, like Friendly did or Bradley did here, you don't have to have a conversation to be able to get an out-the-door price. Now, Dad. Yes. I, from doing this, learned that there are quite a few, quite a few, excuse me, Ford uh, incentive programs going on right now. And I want to give a huge shout out to Keller Ford. Not the best deal by far. Yes. Absolutely not the best deal. But they did res respond with an incredibly well done breakdown of both the cash uh, incentives and the finance incentives. A couple of things here. I'll read the email out to you. So this is, hello, Zach. Thank you for your interest. The Avalanche color with the XLT black appearance package is a great choice. I know. I knew what I was reaching out for. Yeah. Actually, I didn't know what I was reaching out for, but the little program I wrote did. I will be happy to get you aggressive pricing in hopes to earn your business. You can see here MSRP, dealer discount, sales price. They add low jack, which is $1,000, which obviously is taxable. So I would have negotiated that. We've got sales tax, DMV fees. And then there you can see here the $2,000 customer cash rebate, nice and highlighted there for me, the OTD at 63861. And then you can see, Dad, what they did in this email is they showed me the entire breakdown in their DMS system. And then they also showed me that there are other incentives or rebates that I might qualify for as well, including the retail trade assistance and the Ram Conquest cash in case I have a Ram vehicle. So I want to give a shout out to Keller. This was the best breakdown I received from any of the dealers walking me through everything, giving me all the transparency I could have asked for. And this is this is the type of response that I appreciate and the type of response that I wanted my sales staff to give the people. With with the caveat that you that in the confines of the email, the return email, you suggest, hey, I want you to remember that we provided you with all the information you asked for up front tried no games or gimmicks, didn't ask for an appointment. We just provided you with the information, which should be reason enough to want to do business with us. Now, 
If you find that my price isn't competitive enough, please let me know because you, you, you'll you find out that no other dealer is going to provide you with as much clarity and transparency as I will. Dad, one more thing I want to call out here is we reference in our email templates days on market. And you can see this reply here. This comes from Norm Reeves Ford. Zach, thanks for reaching out to us about the F-150. Great observation on this truck being a little older than we would like. So I'm just, I'm sharing that. But like, this information resonates. Have a stock number in your email. Ask for the out the door price. Reference days on market. You know, like include the zip code. You don't include the zip code. And you're asking for an OTD. You don't look silly, but like yes. you don't look as buttoned up as you could. And like I said, dad, we only got responses from, I hate to say it, but like you can count them on your hands and your toes, number of dealers here. This is the type of battle you go into when you try and buy a vehicle. And it has a huge financial impact. If we were to really negotiate with all these dealers, I bet you the spread from worst deal to best deal is going to end up being probably like at least $4,000. Oh, probably. Probably. Yeah, so that's worth it. This is why we offer a car buying service, right? This is why we create the YouTube videos. But at the end of the day, this experiment, which I should say that I'm happy to do for other brands. So leave a comment down below. Let us know what other makes and models you want us to reach out to 100 dealers for. Like, we should be able to, you know, be more empowered and save some real money here. To the 79 dealers that have not bothered to get back to you. Um, yeah. You should probably give me their names and I'll try and contact the dealer principals and say, is this how you're planning on growing your business by not answering any Internet leads that come in? It is this is an indictment on how the vast majority of dealerships in this country operate and they operate poorly. So kudos to you for putting forth the time, effort and energy to do this. And kudos to the 21 that got back to you, at least in some way got back to you and to the 13 that actually provided you with the information you asked for. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please share it with someone who's in the market to buy a car or even if they're not. And like I said, let us know what other groups or vehicles you want us to uh, to reach out to. And uh, yeah, we'll keep making more of these. All right, Pops, thanks as always. Thank you.